All right, thanks a lot, Chris. And be checking back with you in just a little bit. I know it's hard to believe, but we're now officially in fall, which begins the return of many beloved fall items like pumpkin spice lattes. News team test rolling live at the press with more on how to make this season's favorite at home. Good afternoon, Tess. Hey, good afternoon, Chris. After hearing that forecast, now Hurricane Ian tracking in the tropics. Obviously, this is the time to be prepared and, of course, not scared. But during that time, obviously, with Hurricane Michael, a lot of people may be feeling a little bit anxious. So what a better time to, of course, have a nice cup of coffee and relax as you're getting your plans in order. I'm joined live this morning with Kevin Mitchell. He is, of course, the owner of the press with more on how to make this beloved favorite right at home. So obviously, this is a great great uh, coffee art right there. Not a lot of us can make that there, but you're providing us a recipe in which people can make at home. So let's get to it. I understand it all starts with this syrup right here. That's correct. That is our uh, secret, secret sauce right there. That's for our pumpkin spice lattes here at the press. And uh, I think we've provided the recipe for the, the viewers at home. It should be on the screen and we're going to go over how to make that and, uh, and add that to your regular coffee at home so you can get a version of our uh, press created pumpkin latte right over here. All right, so let's talk about some of the ingredients that you need. I understand we've got them laid out right here before us. That's correct. You're going to need to start with uh, whatever version you want to of a uh, pumpkin puree or a pumpkin pie filling. Uh, brown sugar, and that's a pumpkin pie spice. You can get that at most, store, at most stores. Uh, we've got our, our brand that we use is um, a vanilla extract. Um, you're going to put that in a, in a saucepan and, and heat that on low for about two minutes and come up with a sauce. When you add this sauce into any regular coffee, which we've got some prepared right over here, you're going to get a version of what is our pumpkin spice latte that we serve here at the press. We got a couple more things that we add that we're not going <laughs> to talk about on, on, on the news channel, but uh, but this this will make do at home. And, and I promise, if you use this recipe, you're going to be really happy with what you come with come out with. All right, so let's I'll let you do the honors right here of of pressing Wonderful. it down. For That's us. right. So if anybody's not familiar with, of course, our term of our coffee shop is the press, and uh, this is the origination of of one of the ways coffee was first filtered, and it's called a French press. And what's happening is we got hot water and coffee grounds in here. And there's a micro screen being pressed downward at a rate. Wow. And it's filtering all of those grounds out. And now we'll let that, and generally we've let this steep a little while already. That normally steeps for about three minutes. I'm going to grab one of our press cups real quick. All right. And then we'll pour that right in there. Yep. We'll add some of this sauce right here. And then pour our coffee. We'll pour our pressed coffee right on top of that. And then you'll have a version right at home of a pumpkin spice flavored coffee. All right, just again, like yeah, just like that, a great way to relax. We're going to enjoy ours from the press right now, obviously, with a lot more frou frou and coffee art. Well, Most thank definitely. you so much, Kevin, for joining me this morning. Again, great tip. If we are being forced to stay at home for this hurricane, this is something, a great activity to do at home. But again, yes, you do want to prepare and relax a little bit in the days coming ahead. So thank you again for joining me. And for now, reporting live in Panama City Beach, Tess Rolling News 13, Panhandle Strong. All right, as we head to break, 20 minutes after the top of the hour, we're taking a live.